with almost 500 sessions at Next 2019, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see API management for serverless and multi-cloud, then stay tuned, because here's the rewind. This talk is brought to you by Prithpal Bogle, the PM for Apigee, and Kelsey Hightower, a DevRel demo favorite. It starts with Prithpal explaining some of the key advantages of serverless. The fact that it completely abstracts away the underlying infrastructure, it enables you to be agile because not worrying about that infrastructure allows you to focus and iterate on your product. Serverless is perfect for microservices, which are easier to maintain, and the pair are quickly becoming the go-to solution for new systems or monolith migrations. And serverless has evolved. It started with functions as a service and then resonated so well that it expanded into building full applications and now serverless containers. Oh, and fun fact, a service is basically an API. No, stay with me here. An API is a contract around usage. Many service front ends are actually APIs. You build endpoints and then someone else will access them. APIs are the simplest mechanism for connected data experiences between businesses within a business and from a business to a user. OK, so if the future is microservices, and that's basically a series of APIs, then we need to meet our newest friend, the API Management Platform. With any API, it's important to be able to simply accomplish several operational tasks, control and manage access to the API, monitor usage quotas, scale according to demand, analyze usage metrics, and track monetization. So you see why API management becomes a very critical function as you start to roll out more and more serverless applications. And this is where Prithball introduces Apigee Edge. The analytics system in Apigee Edge allows you to measure every aspect of your API traffic. You can measure operational details like response time and frequency of different types of errors. You can find things that are interesting to your business, like where are people located when they call your APIs, or which applications are sending the most traffic. OK, so now in the talk, Kelsey takes the stage to show off what a product like this can do. He spends nearly 20 minutes walking through a full example for API management, which includes Cloud Run, a simple Go app, curl, Docker files, Cloud Build, Apigee, simple IAM auth, and XML configs, cloud functions, and API proxy. And please don't ask me to list all these again. My point is that demos like these, end to end, showcasing the variety of frameworks and applications you may be using together, is why we do Cloud Next. So if you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.